loser can buy a recipe online. Poison sticks to rise in this cheek. Poison and dog. Wow. But it won't be our recipe, and it will probably give you diarrhea. Leave potion making to the potion masters. It ain't that bad for ya. Monocle pop. A Wahoozard and his wand are of very great importance to one another. They are literally inseparable, destined to spend their lives together. However, there's no telling what a wand will be from one moment to another. The soul of the wand moves from body to body. Sometimes it's the choice of the wand, but other times it is yanked from a body without choice. Seasoned Wahoozards are generally better at keeping an object from being disemwanded, and when the spirit of the wand does alight within a new vessel, a keen Wahoozard can recognize it pretty quick. Some Wahoozards can be abandoned by their magic altogether for months or years at a time. The soul of the wand hiding inside a tchotchke, waiting for the Wahoozard to mature. My wand has evolved over time. Currently, it's this bad, Jackson. Check this thing out. I love it. My previous version was a uh, roll of masking tape, which is a little unwieldy during battle or if I was trying to shrink something. This car owner wished that he had a rocket stove, made of salvaged brick, like the ones he had seen on the internet. He wished he could spend the day at home, just hanging out. He wished that he had had another egg for breakfast. He may not have meant for the car to disappear. But you can't put a price tag on wishes come true. When you wish upon a car, Junk Genie hears you. Wahoo Nebraska is popular among Wahoozards for the same reason that Jerusalem is popular among Jews. That's where it all is supposed to have begun. So story goes like this. Zymo the wizard was traveling through the Milky Way galaxy on his way to the Andromeda strain. He was traveling at the speed of thought, which is faster than the speed of light, but slower than the speed of mystery. So Zymo was not in a passing lane, but you know, he was keeping up with traffic. So this trail of wizards was blazing through space like a fat laser and passing through anything in the way, like asteroids, comets, planets, suns, daughters, all these things are just going straight through it. The wizards pretend that planets aren't real, so they pass through them without a trace. And the trails through space shift around slowly due to galactic parallax. But the speed of star systems moving within galaxies and of planets moving around within star systems is exponentially faster. And in that short amount of time, hundreds of thousands of wizards on vacation shot through the Earth's core and whizzed out the other side without anyone thinking twice about it. Except, that is, for Steffi Kurtz. Now, Steffi Kurtz was a 27-year-old cowgirl. On the day that the wizard trail beamed through Wahoo, she reached out into empty space and caught Zymo the wizard by the elbow. She realized that the feeling she had caught looked absolutely terrified and was trying to escape. And she just had to kiss him. And it turned out that he liked the kiss quite a lot, and the rest is history, or mythology, whatever. They were wed soon thereafter, and had a daughter shortly thereafter that. The daughter was the first Wahoozard, and since Wahoozards reproduce by mitosis, the population of Wahoozards grew exponentially. So that's... In a nutshell, where the Wahoozard race comes from. Grampy was a wizard, and Grammy was a cowgirl.
No, yeah. Wahoo, Nebraska. Wahoo, Nebraska. I get camera shy, so. Okay, let the battle begin. Cast another spell. Nope. Wrong. Yeah, light it on fire. Fire. So show me how you would look at the tree. Let me do it again. Okay. I think we maybe got it. So I just found my magic wand, which is really exciting. Uh, I'm gonna see if it still works. What were my magic words? Do you remember? It's the charm of me. Ooh, I cut the end of it. Anel Nathrak. Anel Nathrak. Ustfas. Bethid. Ustfa. Bethid. Tochial. Tiende. Tochial. Tiende. Yes. <laughs> that is the charm of making. It allows you to create anything. Ah. And it's re that's, the re that's the real thing. Okay. Everyone lives, and while you're alive, your life is such a nice dream. Everyone dies, and after you're dead, put your magic into ice cream. Ice creamatorium, ice creamatorium. Good morning. My name is Greg. I'm a designer, among other things, and I just got contacted by Mort's Water. Uh, Mort's Water is uh, going to be starting a line of bottled water. I'm not too familiar with the business, but apparently they've only been doing water towers up to now, and they're, so they want the water tower imagery to be on the the water bottle itself, or the bottled water, so that it's recognizable. Um, so shouldn't be too hard. I've already done some sketches. You know, there's this. There it is. This no, this part. I did, which is like a water tower. Uh, Mort's answering machine said that was kind of good. And this also looks a little bit like a water tower with an M and W water tower imagery. And uh, and the uh, how do I turn it? These two over here. Uh, this is I, I ran this by Mort's answering machine. And he liked those a lot. It, the answering machine. I don't know. I don't know the answering machine's pronoun of preference, but the answering machine liked those. Uh, sort of more of a circle shape with short legs. It looks a little bit like an alien spaceship to me, but uh, the answering machine said that's fine. Alien spaceships are fine. I like alien spaceships. That looks good. Uh, so we're gonna go with it. Uh, I'm I'm moving into the design phase now, so I'll check in with you later.
So I've been on and off the phone with Mort's answering watering machine. What's it called? Mort's water machine. Mort's answering machine at Mort's water. We made some decisions. We're going to use this one. So, Mort's Water sent me this. Uh, woo. Woo. Unlabeled bottle of water. It's full, full of Mort's Water. Uh, but, the, so I told them that I could whip up a quick prototype of the actual label. So, I've finished painting the prototype so uh but we're gonna put the logo here and what mort wants or mort's entering machine wants is that when we hold it like this the logo shows up and when we let it go the logo fades out shows up fades out that's that's really that's really bizarre it doesn't actually taste like it tastes like water. It doesn't refresh like water. It doesn't doesn't actually taste very good. Uh, this isn't drinking water. It's Mort's water. You know, it's my house. I paid good money for this. Now, would you please cut it out, or I'll have to call the management. All right. Uh, okay. I asked nicely. Okay. I asked nicely again. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Good day. Thank you. All right. Now please put me down. That's weird. Comfortably in the sun. Thank you. Blimey! Scurvy! Ah, ah, ah! Oh, mighty! Ah, oh, it's the Kraken! Oh! Make sure you plunder the booty! Get cereal pirates! Ginkgo and gum! I believe in wahoozards and wahoozards believe in me.